Tom. And we are VIMTV Velocities in Music. Today, folks, we are going to review the new album by Earth that just came out recently on CD and vinyl called Angels of Darkness, Demons of Light 1. Meaning there's going to be a part two maybe later this year, um, which is exciting. Um, and, and this is my first exposure to the band Earth. Um, and and this this doom genre, but this is not really as hardcore as other doom bands out there. Um, and I did find this album to be quite enjoyable. Now it has a very distinct sound, in which I described to Tom uh, when I had listened to the album before he had he had gotten a chance to listen to it. I described it to him as being a scorpion. Um, kind of perusing the desert, um, a very cracked desert with the sun beating down, uh, and, and, you know, watching that from your lawn chair, drinking watermelon Kool-Aid. This is the soundtrack to that environment. And I think that if, if, if you take that and go into it with kind of that attitude, this is a very lethargic album, and, and mood is all, is what this thing is all about. You have guitar, and, and you have some drums, and it's very slow and low-key and, and warm-sounding, and then there's also some um, cello strings, yeah, um, and and that's very nice. And and you know personally, that was um, my my first take on it. Now, Tom, I'll let you go a little deeper um, and and give some feedback on on Angels of Darkness. And you know, like. I think that the strings are what made it for me, yeah. um, because it it brings such a new element to the sound. Mm -hmm. um, be, you know, well, first off, when you're trying to do something like this. That I mean, I, I wouldn't compare this entirely to Harvey Milk's A Small Turn of Human Kindness. Not right. not really at all. But at the same time, I, I just mean like the slow moving right. aspect of right. it. I would compare. And what I think makes the strings so key in this is that whereas guitar, if you hit a note and it just rings out forever, then that's what it does. But but when you know when you're using a bow on a stringed instrument, then when you're when you're bowing it. You're playing it, but it's staying there the whole time. It, it, it's like the, the attack of the string is constant. Mm -hmm. And so that helps fill in the sound more. It helps thicken out, up the sound. And, and I, re I really dynamic, like that. It know? does. And, and it brings a mood to it that's, that's like funereal in a way. Right. Um, and, and dark without being heavy right. and over dramatic. Yeah, I never feel like I'm being attacked when I listen no, to this. I feel like if this is just like like a soundtrack and I and mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. I feel like I'm participating in the sound more than it's being presented to me. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I highly valued when I listened to it. I did find it to be moody and um and and easy to listen to. At the same time though, I found it to be kind of inaccessible just from the fact that it's only five tracks. Yeah. If that's they're if very that, long. Right. If that's something that concerns you, um then I I mean I, I would be prepared because long tracks but it is something that I find I can put put on and enjoy. Um, however, I don't know if I'm ever gonna come back to this very much, just because it just it seems like the same ideas were presented a lot. Um, yes, and that was my biggest complaint. Right. Now, while I liked the sound overall, I felt like they could have done more with it, mm -hmm. and that's my biggest complaint is that it is five tracks and it's still a long album. I mean, these tracks have to average at like eight to ten minutes. Oh yeah. And and, and the thing is, more. yeah, and the thing is within those tracks. I don't feel like they take it everywhere they could. Right. They repeat still a lot of the same phrases right. uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. and It's and, minimal even for Doom. Yes. And, and I mean, the, so I wish that within the songs they would have grown and, and reached more of a climax or not repeated as much, went in different directions with it because it, it's kind of repetitive um, in the sound and mood and actual instrumentation. <laughs> And, and so that's my biggest beef mm -hmm. with it. But still, the mood that it goes for, it hits spot on, and it's something that you're not really gonna get anywhere else these right. days. I agree, and I like I, I, the just how musical it is with the with the string edition. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I really found that that was another way for me to attach to it um, that I liked more, and it gave this softness to it that made it uh, much more. Uh, there was some accessible accessibility at it, mm -hmm. but and the production was right on. Yeah, I'd say. That. I, I mean, if it was any more crisp, and and modern sounding, it would have killed the entire tone they were going for. Absolutely. Um, but if it was any more lo-fi, you wouldn't have been able to hear the beauty in the strings right. and all that. I feel like it's right in that middle ground of not being the most perfect production you've ever heard, but also not being crappy. It's right where it needs to be to fit that tone and make that mood. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and in, in, in the same vein, I mean, they didn't do any cool or neat or crazy tricks to it either to make yeah. it anything more than what it is. They kept it real mm -hmm. and authentic sounding, which is always respectable. What are you thinking for a score on, on this? I'm going to go 76. Yeah? I I'm, liked it. I'm thinking I'm thinking even 70. I feel like I feel like I want more, but there's just a, not a lot here, which I like. There's parts I like to it and then parts that I don't like to it because I feel like, and maybe um, when I have a part two and I can listen to them both sequentially, um, I might get more out of it just that way. Um, but I just feel like there's just not enough content here to, for me to really fall in love with this. There's a lot of ideas present that I really like. I love the mood. I, and I did find the strings to be quite enjoyable. Mm -hmm. But I feel like mid-70s is a good good indication of where this album's at. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think, especially Earth fans. I've heard that these strings are new, um, and, and having never listened to Earth before, um, I'm interested to see what you guys think of the string edition. Is this something that you felt enhanced Earth's sound, um, or do you prefer their older work? And if you have older work that you want to mention to us and talk about, we'd love to get a conversation going about this because that's what BIMTV is all about. Uh, so please leave us a comment at www.velocitiesinmusic. music. Try that one first. <laughs> <laughs> or youtube.com slash velocitiesinmusic. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are BIMTV Moving Music Critique Forward.